So a little background, uh, picked up the silver tone from the 60s, I'm pretty sure. Um, solid back, solid top, solid size. And I think it's birch. I think it's all birch. Uh, the neck also, except for, I think, the uh, rosewood fretboard. Anyway, uh, it sounded really great, but it really wasn't playable, like only in like in, you know, one or two frets. It was, uh, it was okay because the neck was bowed. So I decided... Uh, to put a truss rod in. I didn't really have too much of a plan. Uh, I picked up this. It's a 14-inch truss rod. Um, and so anyway, so uh, I knew that I was not going to uh, try to get in through the uh, fingerboard. Tried that before. I destroyed them. Uh, I don't really want to spend uh, really too much money. Guitar's not really that valuable. Though, it's you know, it could really be a great player if I get this next straight. So anyway, so uh, I... Got this, uh, and uh, I used it to, uh, this router, uh, set up some wood on each side, ran it down, and lo and behold, when I was running into, when I started digging into it, this is what I found. It actually had like a truss support in here. A truss, well, it's not really a rod, it's more of just like a piece of metal. But for some reason, it, it just wasn't doing the trick. Uh, I don't know, I think it was just fatigued, or maybe the wood kind of was like fatigued inside but it wasn't really doing what it was supposed to and unfortunately uh after when i started to pull that out as i was yanking it of course it kicked up here and took out part of my fingerboard though this is really not too that big deal to deal with it, it all the pieces for right back in so still prefer this than to try to take the whole top off uh, but of course the problem was is i went to pull this out and it broke that part of it uh, but, uh, so the plan was to get a truss rod in here, but you know, how do you do it? Right? So I dug it down to the fingerboard. This worked out pretty good. Uh, I used a combination. Uh, I cut it a little bit, used the router. Uh, but then of course the, the issue that I ran into is how do I get it? <laughs> how do I, how do I get the, the truss rod in? Now I could actually, I wasn't planning on doing it this way, but it actually will fit in this way. All I really need to do is just drill a hole, right, to be able to access this key. But I didn't want to do that. I, I felt that that was going to weaken the neck too much, right? I still wanted to, to beat it down in here. So, but I couldn't figure out how am I going to get, right, how am I going to, how am I going to get that truss rod in? So after, I don't know, it was a bunch of months, really. Um, it just sort of sat around, and then I, I ended up coming up with a way we use just a little uh, socket, and I've got these uh, drill bits that have these ends on them. And actually, when you put it in like that, you can actually drill. Let's say go on there. You can actually drill in, right, in from here. Now it's it's you know it takes a long time. You got to sort of pressure and drill it in. But I actually was able to get a path all the way from there to there. And I'm in the process now. I've got that wide enough. Uh, I'm not quite, I'm almost there in that, you know, I think you can see it here. I can fit this truss rod in, right? It's going in. Uh, but I'm only going to put it in. It's, I've got it tight enough that if I push it any further, I'm going to have to push it all the way up. And it's going to stay in there. It's really, it's really snug in there. Okay. Uh, but I think it's going to work out pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I was able to do it. I didn't really think I was able to, but you can see I made it through. Right. So that's where I'm at right now. Uh, my plan is to finish, pop it in, and I'll do it. I'll put it on, the, uh, on here. But I do need to do a little more check-in before I jam that thing right up in there. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, one of the keys, by the way, too, is to get this in here, because it's a little bit of an angle, right? We know that. Is you take the truss rod, and I turn it a little bit to get it to bow. So that way, I, as it's going up, it's push it in. When I get to about here, I'm probably going to have to loosen it so it goes straight so I can push it the rest of the way. But I think this is going to actually work. 
which I'm as surprised as anybody is. Uh, I did have to drill through. I think I can show you in here. I did have to drill through right there. You see, I did use a, I used a, the cordless drill to make that hole. And then surprisingly, these bits, I don't think they're anything special, but let me point them out to you. Uh, once I got these bits, bits encased here, they actually fed it uh, by turning it even slowly it did actually feed it right into the uh, right into the wood here and I was able to now there was a channel there because of the original truss rod and that's what ended up helping me out so I'm kind of hopeful I think this is actually going to work um, I'm hoping we'll see huh okay so uh, I'm just really just taking this file and going along here trying to open it up a little bit I want this truss rod to fit in really snug really tight I mean I could really I could expand it I know that but I don't want sloshing around and I think this is gonna do it let's take a look and see yeah, I'm going for this one. We're going to be we're going to be driving this one in. There we go. Okay, good deal. Now let's just tap this in a little bit, huh? Now I'm going to, I'm going to straighten that truss rod now because it helped me get it in right at the angle coming up here. I wanted, I needed that because I've got my braces here. I needed to come up, but now I'm gonna to try to straighten it out here a little bit. And I've gotta pop it up a little bit farther. And everything seems to be fine here. I'm gonna loosen this up now, if I can. See. Oh, need a little more. And I'm just going to try to. I want to straighten out the truss rod now. I want to straighten it out. Okay. There we go. It's actually a two way. So I go into where it starts to. Just loosen up here a little bit, which is great. I'm going to drive this in as far as I can. And then we will have it installed. Sure, hope everything's looking good still. All right, looks good, right? Yeah, looks all right. We got it driven in there. Let's keep going. Can't give up now. Got it. See, we've got it driven in there, and I want to take that all the way to that brace. So let's see if we can do this thing here. Maybe. Yep. That's going to do it. We tap it in. tapped in that end. I think I want to go a little bit farther. Can you see how far I got it though? Should be pretty good. I want to go a little farther. And what can I push that in with? Can I use this out? Maybe I can. Yeah, that'll work. I think that'll do it. That's far enough. I think that's probably far enough, huh? Right. So, 
I got my truss rod in. You can see I've got that thing right there to be able to, can you see it? Right, to be able to tighten it or loosen it. I almost want to drive it in a little bit farther. Huh? What do you think? I think I should drive it in a little farther. I'm going to drive it in a little farther just because I can. Okay. All right, I think that's good. That should give me enough to for be able to hold on to that, right? I think that end will come up. I don't think so. I should be able to kick it down. Of course, maybe I should go a little further. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go a little farther. Can I tap onto this? No. Yeah, it's working. All right. It should tilt it back a little bit. So, okay. Well, trash rod is in. Lo and behold. So now the thought is, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do kind of a combination. I'm going to get some glue in here. All right. I'm going to use that uh, the newer kind of glue because it doesn't really harden up completely. I'm going to put a couple layers here. In fact, I think I've got it out. I might be able to do it right now. Hang on. Let me see if I can. I'm not going to use that. I think I'm going to use this stuff here. I'm going to use this glue. Let's see. There we go. Just going to drip it in. I want it to, to seep in. This is, and I've got to do a couple layers. I can't like fill this whole thing up. Right, I'm going to use this glue, this wood glue, because it doesn't, it, you know, it glues the wood together, but it doesn't really get, get really like rock hard, like this high bound stuff, like this tight bond, the hide glue. I think I'm going to use the hide glue, right? I'm going to use the hide glue for the, the piece of wood I'm going to slip in here, right? That'll be another thing. Uh, but I think right now we're just going to keep that in there. Yeah, I think that'll be good for now. I'll uh, let me catch up with you once this. I'll give this, uh, you know, a day or two to drive, and we'll get back to it. All right. So um, I glued this in. Right. I let it sit for uh, several days to make sure that that was glued in. Now I'm going to put that piece in. It's going to cover it up. Um, it, I, the piece of and this is mahogany. The piece I had isn't quite long enough, as you can see. But instead of doing like half and half, I want to do one center piece. And then I can just fill in, you know, make things a little bit nicer. This I worked on, well, I don't know, it took me a couple hours to get it set in, right? To be able to get it set in. Again, I want these things nice and snug. I don't really want them to be, you know, flapping around at all. I'm going to go with our standard wood glue. Uh, like I mentioned before. I really like it because this stuff here doesn't quite, you know, it still has a little flexibility in it, even though it's, uh, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to pop it in here. I pre-fit it a little bit, right? So, and this should be able to set it right in. And I am going to clamp it too. I'm press it in there a little bit. And let's see, let's get a clamp on it. I did kind of set this up, you know, double checked everything.
pretty good. You know what? I think we're going to put a little more glue in there. Let's double check. I was kind of expecting it to sort of come over on the edges a little bit. I don't see that. I see why that's not happening. I might have to put more glue in here. Yeah. The end's okay. Nope, you know what? I gotta get some more glue in there. As you can see, I'm gonna get some more in here. This part's okay. But we wanna get some more in here. I'm just gonna load it right up. Because I was expecting it to be over anyway. Now I'm gonna put this little notch in here to be able so this holds this end in a little bit tighter. Let's see how that is. There we go. We got a little coming out of it, and that's what I was hoping for. You know, we want that. We want those edges a little bit, right? I can work on those after. I should be able to set it in pretty good. Got a little over it. That's okay. A little bit coming out. That's fine. Well, that should put it in pretty good, I think. Right? Yep, I think that should put it in pretty good. I'm going to put a little, little dab in back here. No. Actually, that should be okay. I don't want to overdo it either. All right, so we're just going to let this sit here. I'm going to wipe that off a little bit uh, off camera just to have it all set. And we're going to let it sit overnight at least uh, to get this glue set in. And then I'll put these little pieces in, and then we'll be ready to uh, finish it up. All right, guys, catch you on the next part. So as you can see, uh, I got this piece glued in. It's been sitting here for uh, several days. Uh, get you a close look. I'm gonna, for right now, I'm gonna keep the ridge in here. It's gonna be easy enough for me to be able to sand this down, but uh, for right now, I'm gonna keep it in because I want the neck to be able to stabilize, make sure that the glue is set in place. However, I have already cranked down on a truss rod and it's worked out pretty well. In fact, I went ahead and I put strings on it and I've been playing it. I've actually stalled finishing this video because I've just enjoyed playing it so much. Uh, see if you can get a look at the action on it. Uh, get a close get a look here. Let's see. Get right up. See? Pretty decent, right? All right. Doing good. I did get, notice I did get this piece back in. It's a little rough here still. I think I might have to work on this section just a little bit. Uh, but that's the least of my worries right now. Uh, I cranked on the truss rod. I got this nice and straight. In fact, let's see. See if you can give it a listen to. See what you think. Get it around here. All right. And then we can talk a little bit about uh, what... Uh, my final thoughts on it. She's got kind of a very playable and all the way up to the neck now. Very nicely. Like I said, I've already tightened up on the got a little work to do up here maybe level these frets up a little bit but well as you can tell I'm enjoying playing Let's go over some uh, some thoughts about the guitar. 
So, uh, just to recap a little bit, right? Uh, I got this as practically like a, a guitar in a box. Uh, uh, the reason why I attempted what I did is the top was barely on, the back was barely on, the inside uh, braces, about at least half of them were uh, were unbraced, you know what I mean? Somehow the, the glue just kind of disintegrated, but the guitar itself, as you can tell, it wasn't like water damaged, right? It's got some, still got some nice stuff to it. The neck was bowed a little bit, but it wasn't twisted. And I figure it's worth a shot, but I didn't pay a lot for it. So if it went really bad, I wasn't really out of anything. But what has it turned out is when I went to dig into that neck, of course, remember we found this this uh, piece of metal in there. You know, I mean, I was not expecting to find this, okay? But it wasn't working. It, this neck was still bowed up for whatever reason, not really sure. Um, so I dug into the back, which we spoke about before, and I think really the real key to this was me coming up with this this piece right here, okay? This is what solved my largest issue, meaning I didn't want to feed the truss rod down from the the head here, I wanted to feed it through up here and have it adjustable. When I came up with this, this is what made it possible. As you can see, it's just long enough, right, to be able to get into that track that that piece of metal is holding. It went slow, it did take me a while to do it, but I just had to do enough pressure. Once this drill bit caught in, it actually started to feed itself into it. So it's very possible to do. Remember, I didn't want to spend money, I didn't want to replace the fretboard, I didn't want to do frets in, I didn't want to do any of that. I just wanted to get the truss rod in and make it playable. And this is what we've done. I think it's worked out pretty well. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed uh, fixing it and now I got a guitar that's playable. Thanks for watching it guys. Catch you on the next one.